Amen. Those who are on YouTube, Lord, we pray for them. Those who are on YouTube, and those who are on different platforms. And I know if you will type Amen, the Lord will bless you mightily. Hallelujah. You can bring it closer and the Lord will bless you. Amen. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. I thank God so much for all of you. Can you give a hand to the clap of your sovereign God? And we also thank God so much for Zion community. May the Lord be blessed you. Thank you for coming back to Zion School. And I know the Lord will open your doors. Amen. Amen. Let us also thank the Lord for what the Lord did to Zion School. They managed to get seven first grade. Super first grade. It was God. God was on their side. Let me tell you from Sozi up to up to down there the lake shores. Zion School was one among the best schools. It was one among the best schools in the whole Chikube district. And it was one among the best schools in the whole Uganda. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. And the Lord will bless you this morning. And thank you for coming to listen to this message the Lord has invested me to share with you. Uh, yes, before, before, we, before I go there into the word of God. Uh, this is our invitation letter. Praise God, dear servants of God. There is a ministry all the way from USA. Uh, through a pastor to Mwebaz Enoch to Restoration Worship Center Cathedral. Starting from 12 uh, February up to 18th February. We shall have a mega conference. Hallelujah. A team of people from different places will come and send a word of God. Others are coming from Tanzania. Others are coming from Kenya. And others are coming from USA. Those who are those who are coming from USA will be online. Amen. They will be online. They will be projected here and everybody will be viewing them. They will pray for you. These are men, anointed men and women of God. The bishop from Kenya is also anointed. Pastor from TZ is also anointed. So please don't miss this visitation. For the whole week, our restoration will be fire for fire. Kiangwani will be fire for fire. In Jesus' name. Praise the name of the Lord. So what I am requesting you, please, please support this function. There is a reason why it, it, it has
has just happened this month. And there is a reason why we have prepared it for one week. Let me tell you, one day before the Lord is like a thousand years outside. Which means if God speaks away, nobody can put us under. You know, you need trust in the Lord. Trusting the people, you may fail. But we believe that uh, through this function next week, our ministry will never, never remain the same. God is money. He will provide. Hallelujah. Amen. So what you need to do, you need to stand in the gap. You, you bring people to the house of the Lord. God will be the way we seem to be. Can you shout hallelujah? Can you shout hallelujah? Shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, children of God. Hallelujah, Amen. This morning I want to say what the Lord has put and put me to say with you. And my morning's word is about recovering what belongs to you. Recovering what belongs to you. Amen. Amen. So this morning the Lord is recovering back what belongs to you. What the devil had hijacked from you. What the devil had taken from you. This is the morning which the Lord has given me to stay to share with you that the Lord is recovering back what belongs to you. You can just jot it in your notebook. And the Lord is recovering what belongs to me. Tell your neighbor this morning it is the season whereby the Lord is recovering what belongs to you. You know, God created us with a reason. He created us not to be harmed. He created us to be prospered. He created us to receive what, the, what belongs to us. Now once when you go into the book of First Samuel chapter number 23 beginning from verse number 1 the Bible says when David was told look the Christians are fighting against Kera and are rooting and stressing flaws. Baku, baku he inquired of the Lord. Saying, Shall I go and attack these Philistines? The Lord answered him, Go attack the Philistines. And say, Kayla. But David's men said to him, Here in Judah we are afraid. How much more than if we go to Keira against the Philistines' forces? Once again, David inquired of the Lord. And the Lord answered him, Go down to Keira, for I am going to, say, to 
give the Philistines into your hand. So the, he and his men went to Keila. For the Philistines and carried off their livestock. He inflicted heavy losses on the Philistines. And saved the people of Gera. I praise the name of the Lord. Recovering what belongs to you. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we are looking at two cities Gera and Judah. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the Bible says now people told David look at the Philistines that are rooting and fighting against Keira the Philistines the Praise the name of the Lord. They are fighting against Keira. And they have taken a lot. They are rooting. You know the, the meaning of the word rooting. It means to steal someone's to steal people's property. Praise the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Now I would like you to be very keen enough to this message. You will get something and the Lord will return back what you lost one time back. Let the Bible says David was a king by then. They said, look here. The Christians they are rooting and fighting against Keira. Someone who is a junior person can first read for us. Amen. Someone who is a junior person. Is there someone who is a junior person? Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Amen. So the Bible says, Look, David was told that people are rooting Keira. Amen. They are fighting against Keira. What can we do? Let me tell you, David's men were perturbed. David's men were afraid of what they saw. Because they looked at the forces which were stealing things from Keira. And they were afraid of what they saw. Then David inquired of the Lord. Can we uh, attack this man in Keira? Can we follow this man? Some we manage them. Some we overcome them. Now, David's men were afraid of what they saw. They were afraid of what they saw. Now, they intimidated David. Why are we following this man? And yet we are now, and yet we are forces in Judah. And yet there is Judah. And Judah. Amen. Amen. It is a statement here in verse number three. Uh, but David is very saying to him. Here in Judah we are afraid. How much more than if we go to Keira? Against the Philistines forces. Now David is men were afraid. 
and they said, now we are offering here in Judah. How much more shall we follow Keilah? How much more shall we help Keilah? Amen. Amen. David was again the ah. choir of the Lord. In most cases, children of God, before you do anything, first you choir of the Lord. The more you inquire from the Lord, the more direction you will get from the Lord. Now let me tell you, children of God, this morning, the Lord, the Lord is opening your doors. You need to inquire from Him. He will answer all your prayers. Now let me tell you, David's men were afraid of what they saw. The forces were very many rooting and destroying against Keira. They were afraid. And when David told them, let us follow them, he shall recover what had taken. Now his men, they said, please, wow. We are afraid. How much more can we follow Kayla and here in Judah we are, and yet we are afraid? Then David inquired. He asked God, Can we overcome this battle? Can we follow Kayla? Can we help Kayla? Then the Lord in heaven heard his prayer. And he answered his prayer. And he said, Follow them. And when they followed them, they recovered what the first time that taken. Let me tell you, children of God, most of you, many things may have, may have been taken by the devil. Let me tell you, some of you are looking at me, you are here. There are many things which the devil had destroyed before you. Some of your marriage have been destroyed by the devil. Some of your businesses have been destroyed by the devil. But this morning I come to inquire from the Lord. And the Lord will have to recover it in Jesus' name. The Lord will have to recover in Jesus' name. This week is a week of asking or inquiring from the Lord. We are inquiring from the Lord about our conference. We are inquiring from the Lord about different sicknesses. We are asking God about what we are supposed to do this year. But the Lord has told us this year we must stand still and wait and seek our salvation. Let me tell you, children of God, some of you are here. You are very perturbed of what is happening in your community. But we are Get up, bro. 
They were afraid of what they saw. Some of you are afraid because of the sickness you are. Some of you are afraid because of the situation you are passing through. Some of you are afraid because of what you saw. Some of you are afraid because of the information you got. Some of you are afraid because of what is happening in your family members. Not in your family. But this morning, inquire from the Lord. You will get the answer. What you lost some years back. Then the Lord is recovering it. Whether you like it or not. By who or who, the Lord is recovering. You are with Jesus. Can you say Amen? Ladies and gentlemen, inquire from the Lord. Don't inquire from people. Amen. Amen. Don't inquire from people. Inquire from the Lord. If David had inquired from people, he would have left Keira suffering and losing all their property. Because men, they say, now look. Look at us here in Judah. We are Afra of the forces which are in Keila. We are Afra of them. The weapons they have, the skills they are using to root uh, things in Keira. For us, we are Afra. Do you know that you are Afra? Because of what you saw, because of what you had in the ministry, now we are done. We are being finished. Now look at those people. They are about to finish us. Let me tell you, children of God. Fear not. Have faith in the Lord. Things will work. Hallelujah. Amen. People are fearing now you can pray. That we are going to die. Everybody is crying. They are going to die. Yesterday I was with Brother Baina. He said, Please, I'm running very fast. Because what is happening there it cannot be mentioned by human Let me tell you, children of God. Trust in the Lord. Nobody will take your life. Nobody will solve your life. Except the Son of God. He said in John 10 10. The devil came to kill. Destroy. And tell us. Inquire from the Lord. Don't let the devil steal all your property. I'm telling you, children of God. I'm not sending you to bad fight. Who is your blows? But I'm sending you. Go 
in the field if you have lost many things you need to use your knees through inquiring the Lord through prayers and fasting you will recover what the devil has taken from you hallelujah children of God the devil may have taken your job the devil may have taken your husband but this morning the Lord is recovering him was married by a certain man. Very poor. But God slowly by slowly raised them up. God gave them money. They received a lot of money. And when they got money, the man undermined the woman. He looked at the woman and cannot eat him. Then he looked for another woman. And the woman stole the husband from his home. And he took him somewhere. For some two years for some years the woman inquired from the Lord he kept on praying and, and seizing she believed the God and said Lord you joined me with this woman you joined me with this man before the congregation and you said the good and the bad will some be together I'm waiting, Lord. May you recover him back. Now the woman waited. She waited for some good years until the time came. The woman who had stolen her husband, when she kicked the bucket, the man came back. Said, I've come back. I'm sorry. Yes, had stolen me. Forgive me. Let me tell you, children of God, this morning, you are receiving what the devil had taken from you. God is recovering it back in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Everything which had lost some years back, my father who is in heaven, all of you and every kingdom come, he will solve your problems. He will handle your situation. I don't care what type of situation you are going through. Amen. Amen. Let me tell you something. We are being on a mind. One day when I started my school, I started with my fellow, my fellow young teachers whom I had taught. Before they said, no, this man will not make it. But I inquired from the Lord. The Lord said, push on. You will make it. The same teachers whom they were undermining, I prayed, or I prayed for them. I said, God, give them more wisdom. First year, out of 12 pupils, you got first breath. One, the remaining second breath. The second year, we got two first breath out of, out of 10. 
in the Sadia, we got three first bread. Out of 18, 15 got second bread. No, 14 got first bread. Got second bread. Then the first year, we got four first bread. Four first bread. First bread in. There are 24 children. Bakawana Aviri Naman. Four first bread. Avana Banna first bread. Fifteen second bread. Avana Kuminavata second. Amen. Amen. The remaining third bread. Avana third bread. Then this last year. Uh, out of four, fifteen. Seven first grade. first grade Seven second grade. Amen. Amen. One sad bread. Oh, 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 yeah, sad bread. Hallelujah. Amen. That's what God can do. And the the body, in the center, those who used to undermine, they rose up their hand. All the schools here, we are number one. Those who are man, they say they will not make it. They are seeing us when we are making it. Those who are saying that you will not be married, they will be the one to support your wedding ceremony. Those who are saying that you will not build a house, they are the ones who are going to send their land to you. Those who are saying that you will die soon, you will bury them with Jesus. Hallelujah. Let me tell you, of God, who is God, everything is possible. When Jesus looked at his disciples, and he said, Who is man? It is very impossible. But who is God? It is very possible. People are saying that you shall not make it. You look at this Kalina. They say this man may not make it. Yes, man may not make it. But please go. Everything is impossible. People are new and they say, We are finished. The church is finished. But let me tell you, Lord of God. In his half days, let me tell the children of God. There is a saying in the Runyoro which says, Kirimutiri ni baseka, Kirimumanzi ni bachura. Hallelujah. Amen. So for us, we were Kirimutiri. Kirimutiri. But we are about to laugh. You are about to laugh in your family. Hallelujah, children of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Now you went through this conference. The one which is going to the one which is about to happen here in this cathedral. Wait and see. God is about to do something, I'm telling you. Many people, they are going to give their life to Jesus Christ. People from Tanzania, they are coming here. People from Kenya, they are coming here. For the glory and the honor of God. Why are they coming here? It is because we went from the Lord. What challenges, what problems came? We never gave up. 
We never ran away. To Tairuke. We said, Oh my God. Do what you can. For us, we are here. If you are to die, we shall die from here. We shall not lose hope. But what we know, we shall come to you. God is about to do extraordinary great things here. Oh, my. 
many things which are burning you in your life. You have very many wounds in your heart. Yes, Lord. 
The Lord is delivering you. The Lord is delivering you. Every